Hello and welcome to Sports Syndicator TV's Big Match Betting Preview. I'm Gary John Paul Faulkner. And I'm Marcus J. Richardson. This weekend, week two in the Premiership. Massive game, top of the table, clash already. First versus second, Bolton Wanderers against Manchester City. Marcus, wigwam, what's going on? Wagwan. It's not really a top of the table clash though, is it Gary? First v second, is it not? Yeah, but it's Man City v Bolton. Bolton are top. Yeah, but mathematically they're top. Mathematics is what wins it at the end of the day. But it's not the end of the day or the end of the season, it's the second week. Uh, anyway, Bolton v Man City, the Reebok Stadium now. Both teams won 4-0 at the weekend. Oh, it's got four all written all over it then, surely? No, Gary, no, no. They were both playing newly promoted sides ah. and both teams have very strong defences. Both kept clean sheets. Now, I think this game will be short of goals, believe it or not. Many people think Aguero will be the difference between the two sides, but I don't think he's going to start. Mancini doesn't think he's fit after a heavy season, or a heavy summer in the Copa America. So, for me, I think Aguero is going to come on late and he is going to make the difference. You can get Man City to win at 4-5, to five, but you can get Man City to win and Aguero to score at 15-1. to one. Ooh, Not bad. I'm going to go for a similar bet. I think City are going to win. I think he's right. It's going to be a very tight game. Bolton have got a great central defensive partnership, but... City have got a fantastic attacking team, real great midfield, some superb strikers. I think Dzeko will score the first goal. Why Dzeko? Why Dzeko? Good question. He scored the first goal, broke the deadlock against Swansea, opened up the floodgates, scored a fantastic cracker against Manchester United at Wembley Stadium and he's been in form in pre-season. Also, some of the pressure will have been relieved with the signing of Sergio Aguero. So I think Dzeko will get the first goal and City will win 2-0. Stick two cheeky pounds on that at 21 to 1. Not a bad shout, that's 42 quid. That's a night out in Blackpool. It certainly is. Possibly not a night out in London, but a night out in Blackpool. It's a beer in London. True. But if you fancy Bolton to win, you can get odds on them winning at 7 to 2. Bit of an outside bet. Or if you fancy maybe a draw for your accumulator, you can get odds of 5 to 2. Now, Bolton, we talked about some of their players in the Central Defensive Partnership. Tell me a little bit more about that, Marcus. Well, Gary Cahill in there with Zach Knight. Gary Cahill, a lot of focus on him. Is he? Is his mind going to be elsewhere? Liverpool and Arsenal fighting for his signature. Where is he going to be at the end of August? Personally, though, I think he's a professional. He played for England a couple of times last season. He's looking good. I think Cahill will see this as a stage to perform. Mm. He's playing against one of the best teams in Europe, arguably, at the moment. And I think Cahill will star in that game. So you think he's going to have a great game and then move on somewhere else. He's putting himself in the shop window, basically. Basically, yeah. Well, let's hope Harry Redknapp gets in there, eh? What about Zach Knight, though? He's going to have a fantastic season. Started great, had a good season last year. And I think with Gary Cahill there, he kind of gets overshadowed a little bit. I think Zach Knight's a great player. Overshadowed? Overshadowed. Zach Knight's seven foot four. No one can be... Oh, he's the shadow. Oh, fair point. All right, bad use of metaphor there. But Manchester City players, we spoke about their midfield. David Silva. It usually plays out wide, but since we've seen him at City, he's started to cut inside, almost messy like and he's hooked up well already with Yaya Toure. Toure had a brilliant season last year. People were saying, how can you justify a million pounds a week? I think it's around 220, but to us, it's all the same. How can you justify that on a footballer, especially one who couldn't even get into the Barcelona first team and played as a defensive midfielder? Since he's come to City, the floodgates have opened up for him. Once he gets hold of that ball and starts running, no one can stop him. And you're going to see a lot more goals from the more attacking-minded Yara Toure this season. Reminds me of Patrick Vieira. Oh, certainly does. Certainly does. Very big, very threatening. But also, he can bang in the goals. Score the win in the FA Cup final. He's going to score a lot of goals this season. And he's going to link up well with Aguero and Silva. Speaking of goals and Aguero, let's look at the first goal scorer. Who's going to score first? Well, for me... People are saying that Aguero's going to score first, but I think that's a bit of an outside bet. You can get odds of him scoring first at 3-1. to one. Mm -hmm. I think a better bet would be him scoring last in case there is more than one goal, again at 3-1, to one, or him scoring any time at evens. Uh, not bad. Now, I personally think Silva. I'd stick... Uh, you can get Silva at 11-2 to two to score the first goal or the last goal. And once again, 6-4 to four to score any time. Now, I think Silva will get a goal in this, so 6-4 to four isn't bad. You picked Dzeko to score first, though. What else can you get on Dzeko to score first? Dzeko, you can get 11-2, to two, which is not bad at all, especially after his strike rate in pre-season. Dzeko, 11-2. to two. All these odds have been with Coral. Now, an interesting thing with Coral. If you place a bet on a live TV match... Mm -hmm. And there's a goal in injury time. Oh, it always happens. And it turns your winning bet into a losing bet. Typical. Coral will refund your stake. Really? Really. 
Nobody else does that. No doubt. Well, well, sign up with Coral. Get over to coral.co.uk. But remember, you must be over 18. Now, Coral are our betting partners, so make sure you get involved with Sports Indicator TV. I'm Gary John Paul Faulkner. And I'm Marcus J. Richardson.